All right, uh, Derpy Moose here, and we are on episode three of um, Casa de Cabra. And this is, uh, let's pull up the map type here just for a second here and refresh here. We're doing a Colonial Charter Red Desert, and it's a Mediterranean climate, and we're on Disasters on Hard Difficulty. And uh, we have, let's see here. 72 people we are nine homes short it looks like um have three students we just built the school our health is not great happiness is okily dokily and our food graph is going up now i think our food graph is going up because we just built these two banana sheds here so i have a local rule that i won't use a a specialized building until i actually buy the seed and see what seeds we have here we have bananas and we have bananas that's what we have so um currently we left off last episode i think holding this farm supplier because i wanted to buy if i could the coconut which i would think would fit with this theme or if we can't quite yeah coconut or orange i like the coconut for sure so we're going to see what kind of uh, trade goods we can accumulate here. We've got statues, um, thanks to Grumpy Gnome, we're doing uh, wood statues here. We're also doing pottery, oops, I should probably hold that open. And, um, and we got a clay pit here, and somewhere around here there was a, where are you here? No, that's a fuel refinery. Yeah, that's the potter there, sorry. Oh, something else I should mention for people that haven't seen the other previous two episodes. We're using a couple different theme sets here. We're using this build a mission theme set. And we're using the uh, grow agave and produce tequila. Buildings for tequila. And Mexican fantasy. Although we tried this clay pit and it didn't seem to produce anything. So I don't know, um, that building might be bugged. I was going to actually report that, but I forgot. Um, I shall keep that in mind. That's why the buildings look a little different than usual. Now, I was thinking, and Grace, I'll ask your opinion on this, um, to do something different here. Uh, what if we said this is the only trading dock we're going to allow ourselves here? Or the other way of looking at it is maybe quite often what I do, most of the time what I do is I get industry supplier or industry ports going. And that brings in our stone and log, but maybe um, to try this one, just say, okay, we've got the farm supplier and that'll bring us animals and seeds. Only a small subset of which we're going to use. Um, but the rest of the time we'll have to live off the land, so to speak, or make our own stuff, so... I don't know how I feel about that, because I'm personally uh, very anti-quarry, uh, uh, but yeah. Yeah, we tried the one general trader in the, the one where we had the Water Walking Bear series, I can't remember what that was called. So maybe that's what we can do, is we can do the farm trader and one general trader. Actually, that... You know, that sounds pretty good to me. That'll give us a little bit of a chance for other stuff. Okay. And I didn't say I did say I wasn't gonna do too much on the on the lakes, so it's something to keep in mind too. And we are using these um, palm tree forester here. So over time that'll get rid of the evergreens and make sure we're all palm trees and stuff in here. Yeah, you just buy seeds and livestock, yeah. Yeah, that's... Certainly I respect that way of playing. Alright, well let's think about... Farming one general. That'll get us a little bit of resources. Uh, we'll have to see. Um, our logs are terrible here. 
Are we harvesting? Yeah, we are there. We're gonna have to up the people in here. And get some more productivity going. I think I'm going to have to put in a, uh, I was toying with the idea of putting in a dense tree shack over here somewhere. And, hey Carlos, how's it going? We're trying something a little bit different here. We're using some theme sets here around, uh, Build a mission, agave and tequila, and uh, what they're calling Mexican fantasy. So we're on a red desert map here, and just talking about restricting ourselves and how many trade docks we can build and stuff. And we're about, I think we're about two hours into this. Yeah, I kind of like this idea of putting in a dense tree shack over here. I'm going to try not to get too carried away with these things. It can be OP, I think. So let's do that. Um, let's make sure that there is a log stockpile. Uh, what would be that? Say something like that, and then we can bring this road out here. Alright, let's do that, and let's make sure all the stone and everything's out of here. No, I think we've removed all the stone and everything out of here. Hmm, not quite all of it, I guess. And you are planting only for the moment. Hmm, we're right out of stuff, so... No, I don't think that's a silly challenge, Grace. I think um adds more flavor to this game if you sit down with the kind of the conditions are for e at least by each map type or each uh, town. I'm actually kind of having fun doing it a bit differently each time. Um. Okay, and why are you... Oh, you're out of play. Okay. Well, I wonder if maybe this can only support one potter. Let's try that for a while, see how that does. Might have to build another uh, clay pit here. Okay, we're not really getting anywhere on that um, trader, are we? And we're out of firewood totally, so we can't add more. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's going well then. And our tiny chopper is not keeping up to stuff here. Oh yeah, that's why we're building this guy. Okay. All right, I got it now. Let's get going on this here. Alright, so that'll get us some logs. Um, let's hand harvest some here. And let's throw a stockpile out here somewhere. So what have you been up to, Carlos? Grace and I are just talking about how hot it's, how the weather's been. I'm in uh, Canada here, we're supposed to go up to 90 tomorrow, I think, and uh, in the 90s, I should say, and that's pretty hot for us here. Not that we have igloos here around or anything, but it's still pretty hot. Okay, I'm going to bump this way up, because I want to use it a little bit for trade, so let's make that like 2400 or something. Oh, Patron, yeah, I haven't tried that one in a while. How are you liking it? Hey, this guy, I'm just going to give up hope here and say come back later.
I was just trying, uh, what was I trying the other day? Rather easy, okay. Um, well, that settlement survival we played the other day, I really think that one's got potential. Farthest Frontier was the other one I tried. And Settlement Survival, I think I like more. Farthest Frontier, though, has some potential, and they really, they really tried to be a banished kind of, not clone, but same kind of uh, coloration and same kind of buildings and stuff. So I think those are the two I'm going to try and play. A dense tree shock here. Don't really have the people for it for the moment here. Yeah. But Settlement Survival, um, I've got a couple of um, very amateurish videos on my YouTube channel where we do a let's try, but um, it looks like it's got... Uh, Farthest Frontier has been updated, I think it's... It's actually seemed pretty close to finish to me, but... I'd have to go look it up to be sure. Alright, houses are an issue. Now we've got some logs again, so let's get some... Let's get some homes going here. Now these were clay to build, weren't they? Okay, now we have to start talking about another expansion here. Hmm. A little bit interesting on where we can get to here. Well, we can certainly go up and build up here somewhere. Hmm. Let's get a few houses going in town here, though, first. Um, now, I think we're using these guys here. Mission Large House. Oh, what's here? That's the bananas. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, I'm going to build those for now. Might as well put a house out here for the trader. Our food's pretty good for the moment. Okay. Now, if we say more banana sheds here, this actually puts them in just to have them down. So they were here. So funny, I can't remember. In game the game where everything is here. So I'll just find them this way here. Okay, so I wonder this is in the wrong spot here. So if we build those and then build Just kind of trying to figure out here, if we get some seeds, we should probably have some farms laid out here. Yeah. 
Yeah, so that town arrival is not in a great spot, is it? Not for what I want to do here. Alright. Now, where were these vegetable barns? That was part of one of the theme sets here. Well, that's something we should get in as soon as we have iron, too. Okay. I mean, now that's clay, I think. So that'll be fighting with the pottery, but that's okay. Trade beef, no snakes. Okay. How much is this producing here? That's yeah, not bad. Okay. I think because we just built the school, we're going to be short laborers for a while here. Got that little bit of a lull here after building the school. Yeah, build up pretty good. So it must have a capacity around 25. And then we've got our portable or our extension here. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Let's move that town arrival here. This should be producing lots. Yeah, okay. And we can get a little bit more firewood in here, maybe up just to 500, say. It doesn't look like we have a lot of fodder or flowers left to trade. And we're not getting pottery and wood statues in there yet. Hmm. We are making pottery, though. And we are making wood statues. Okay. Oh, there we go. No, oh, I thought I saw something, but no. Hmm. Well, it should make it in there over time anyways. Alright, now, um... I think one more orchard here. And this is unfortunately not a great place here, so I'll get rid of that. Now we have to be cognizant that disasters are turned on here. If we do a pasture... Yeah, for the the wood statues, yeah. You know, that was one of Grumpy's tips, so quite happy to try that and see how that goes. I'm suspecting they don't do a lot per year though. So you'd probably have to put quite a few of them in. That's okay, we can scale things up here. And now I was gonna see if I can get two pastures. Now I'm pretty sure I did this twenty by twenty, right? Okay, so we do two pastures there. Yeah, I turned disasters on just for a change here, so. You know, trying to make, make myself do different things here. Well, I mean, I'm still going to drink coffee and stuff, but that won't change.
friend of mine went to the doctor and the doctor said, stop drinking coffee and stop drinking alcohol. So my friend said, I'm gonna get another doctor. Thank you. I don't like that at least. All right, we have no crops yet. We do have bananas, but we have these things, so. We'll leave the bananas in the, the sheds here. Yeah, the only caveat I have about disaster is if we get a town wipe, and I like the town, like from a tornado or something, I'd probably reload, but if I'm bored with the map, then probably not, but I'm not against a little saves coming once in a while. All right, now these guys here, we do not have the people. I exactly agree with that, Grace. The hell did I work all my life for if it wasn't just to make myself happier? Alright, so we're getting the fields going. I think I have to think about an evil uh, quarry at some point here, too. Now, we don't have a town hall. And I usually like the town hall right by, uh, right by our farm supplier here. So let's see if we can find a town hall that kind of fits the motif here, if you will. I always like the Port Royal ones, but they're... I mean, it's a little bit colorful, but, um, that's a little bit too Wild West, I think. That could work, that one. No. That's not too bad. the Osaka castle. <laughs> That'll be awesome for a Japanese village here. We still gotta do that one of these days. Um, I think one of these little guys in here. I'm okay with that one. Yeah. Well, it's an extra large map too, right? So with my luck, the tornado would head, head right for downtown. Let's see what the traders got here. Chickens, the evil chickens. Um, it was something to bring nomads, I think, what he said. I think what he said was this mission, I think it was the mission church. It has two vari variants here, the mission church and the mission, sorry, mission church, and then one without nomads. So if we build this regular mission church here, which I can't yet because of iron, but I probably should, I would have fit in that spot. So this will bring uh, nomads. And I'm not sure if this town hall will or won't. Some of them don't. And chickens, huh? Hmm. Yeah. I, my, you know, my memory for what it's worth, but I think he said you can find one in the town halls that'll match, but he recommended building this for uh, happiness and for nomads.
Grumpy quite often has uh, multiple nomad arrival points, which I think is kind of fun. All right, I really want goats is what I want, so. Now what I was thinking was building a, a market in a school out here in a small community or something. And then maybe do an expand across the river down here and then out from here. So we have a reasonable amount of stone at the moment. Well, I think goats kind of fit this map type. And, um, I did name the town after him, so. Yeah, I'm only two houses short. I thought it would be worse than that. Hmm. And I've got two by each of these fishing docks, so. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to spend a bunch of stone here and do this as well. more storage in here. I have to remember where these were here. Let's do it like that. Let's put the road in. A little tiny bit of surgery here. And let's get this road in here. Don't really have enough stone right now to go stone everywhere, so. Okay, let's do that and let's replace the uh, stockpile I had earlier there. Probably should prioritize that too to make everything easier. Okay, we had a couple people graduate, which is good. Our food's doing really quite well, so... Let's get them in here planting, I think, is the answer there. These guys are cutting, yeah. Now that'll accelerate our palm tree replacement plan, too. Okay, so two stage expansion. We'll expand up here, over here, and down. And then down here and over. So that'll get us building on this lake here. That's no, okay. We'll do some on the lake. for a community out here, but we'll jam something in. Alright, there we go, goats. Now, how many can we get here? That would be 3,600, right? Oh, we're overpaying. Cool. Now, 
Now, something funny is going on, as we're not getting pottery or wood statues at the start here. So I think we have a glitch there. Alright, but we have goats, so this is good. Goats are good. Goats are great. Now, why? Uh, let's try something here. I think there is a trading or trader in one of these theme sets here. There's a tailor and a distiller. Cool, okay. Now, what's it in here? Sorry for this, I don't know the theme sets here, so I'm kind of fishing around here. Trading post, there we go. Now, this is a land-based trading post. How about we put him in right by the farm trader here? And let's see if that will stock our pottery and our statues. Yeah, um... We're definitely making them here. We've made about 200 pottery there. And 23 wood statues. Let's see. Yeah, that's in the center in the general market. These are a vegetable barn, so I don't know. Actually, it's kind of funny there's nothing in there. Okay. That storage is working. I don't know, maybe these vegetable barns aren't going to cut it for us here. It's a good old storehouse there. Hmm. Yeah, so anyways, they're in the general market. They're being made. I think I might have to nuke this vegetable barn here. And that's a storehouse. Let's nuke that one as well. Actually, no. Let's leave that one in as an experiment. See if anything does go in there. Be conflicts between mods or something going on. You never know. Yeah, that's a. It's a question, isn't it? So I'm actually quite a, kind of having fun exploring the different sets and stuff here. Maybe if Grumpy drops in, we can find out. Oh, it's probably wedding day for him today, I think. It was his daughter getting married. So I doubt if he'll be on Twitch today. Um, let's put a house in, probably going to have to be over here. Okay. Oh really? Okay. I usually expect weddings on Saturday. Alright, we've got pistachio. I don't know, does Spain have pistachio? It's kind of a Mediterranean thing, right? I think that might work for us. Um, I think we're going to go pistachio here. Um, if we can afford it. Um, I think we and not actually. Okay. I'm gonna have to up the firewood here. Um, 
Let's see if we can get away with the 625 on the firewood here. The trader, I think we'll let go for the moment here. No, sadly, uh, the only seed we have right now is banana. So I'm doing these things here. You guys were talking about popcorn earlier. I was just thinking the other day, I haven't been to a movie theater in a long time. Might actually go and watch the latest Mission Impossible movie. Buy a big tub of popcorn with extra butter. Everything the doctor says not to do, right? Yeah, I was going to do more storage, though, wasn't I? And that was in this set, that set, and here. Let's pop that in. Oh, very cool. Well, there's a new Tupi and Binu movie. My son used to watch that when he was young. I was going to see if he wanted to go with that. Some of those kid shows I really like, like Dora the Explorer and stuff. Swiper, no swiping. I don't know, I think it's fun taking kids to movies. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat. I think I watched one of the new Star Wars. I'm a kind of a Star Wars geek, so I went and watched that in 3D, but... I was kind of shocked at how much it cost too. I think the ticket to getting was at 18 bucks and the popcorn and a Coke was close to 20. Yeah, the prices are pretty crazy. And that was a while ago too. That would have been before COVID, so. But I kind of like the Mission Impossible movies, and I think that would be a good one on the big screen. It's pretty unbelievable stunts that he's doing. Supposedly he does it himself, too. Not bad for an old guy. <laughs> I gotta buy him, like licorice or something, milk duds or whatever. Alright, we have more trading goods this time. And we have agave. I actually have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly, so if anybody knows. Alright, this, uh, this means we can, uh, start our production cycle here. So is that a... Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> they probably search at the door or something, right? Um... Our food is pretty good courtesy of these, uh banana shed, so why don't we make both of these agave. And let's look at our set here. Okay, agave masher. And tequila distillery. And a tequila trader. Oh, interesting, okay. And a tequila bar. Alright, I think I'm going to have to build all that stuff here. Okay, the masher is probably... We put that near the fields and near the storage, that'll work there. And 
and the distillery is the same size, so we can put that there. Get some roads going on here so it's not too crazy. And what else do we have here? <laughs> Actually, my, uh, my dad did that to me and my little brother a couple times too. Get in the trunk, boys. It was a few years ago before that kind of thing was frowned upon. <laughs> okay, Tequila Trader. Oh, this is going to have to go on the water. Okay, so that can actually go right, say, there. Okay, and this guy is got all its material, it just doesn't build yet. Okay. Well, let's add a few more builders. And what was the other thing we're going to build? Tequila Bar here. Sort of, it's, oh, it's got a circle, okay. Okay, okay. So why don't we put that guy right about there. Okay. And I hate to say it, but I'm going to have to put a quarry in over here or something. Hmm. I'm just going to pull up these blue circles here just for a moment here. Okay, so I'm just going to take a road up and be up there. Um, don't have much stone, but... Okay, let's do a bridge across here. Hmm, sand brick. Should probably get some brick going for sure. Yeah, let's do a little bridge there. Um, do we want to spend the stone? I think we probably should. 49 stone, okay. Okay, then we can think about expanding down over this way. That would be a cool thing to take kids to. I think we've got one drive-in left in the city, and it's heading for extinction, so... is up here. Yeah. Well, there was, I think for a while the kids were actually getting into drivings. So there was a sort of a comeback, I think, for a little while. So I'm not sure what this trading post is telling me here. It's, this is not a trader trading post. I don't know if you can see those recipes, but it says tool from two leather, tool from eight cotton. None of that makes sense to me. I don't know what's going on there.
Yeah, yeah, for sure. Agave Masher, that's the one we want here. Okay, let's actually pin that and see if it gets up going here. Have we produced any yet? Not yet, no. Okay, it's just early spring though. And those houses built. Tequila distillery, okay. Well, let's wait before we turn that one on. Um, this tree shack here, we're almost on a lot, so let's get that going. Okay, now we have the dense tree shack in operation there. Yeah, let's, actually, let's harvest some logs here. You know what, I forgot all about those goats too. <laughs> Remembered in time anyways. Excited about buying the goats and then forget about the goats here. Alright, ducks, um... We don't really have a spare pasture at the moment, so... I mean, we have a quarantine pasture, but not a spare pasture. Pasture. Tequila Trader, okay. Okay, so it looks like a normal inventory. Hmm. Well, we don't have people for it right now, so let's turn it off. Must have had a bit of a die-off there or something. Alright, we have a pig timer. 